Hi YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick video on just different infant slash toddler Montessori inspired activities that you can do with your child uh, that are, it's mainly geared towards fine motor skills for these activities. Um, I'll do other videos on different um, things that I've done for my son, but um, we're a one income family and um, I try and do DIY um, most of my activities just because it's so expensive for Montessori things. And I've been doing Montessori, well, a loose Montessori schedule with my son. He's about to be 10 months in a couple of days. So um, we've been doing it since he was five months old. And these are just some of the things that I've done for him. Um, a couple of them he doesn't understand yet or he might understand it. He just doesn't do it on a regular basis yet. So um, let's get started. I'll show you the first one. Um, this is one that he absolutely adores. It is a fine motor skill pincer activity. And basically it was one of the old Similac uh, samples that either the pediatrician gave me or the hospital gave me. I can't remember, um, but it was when he was first born and they just gave me a Similac um, can of formula. And all we did was, or all I did, was um, I wrapped it in just a um, scrapbook paper that I had. And for the top, I poked holes in it and I strung ribbon through the, t well, first I painted it, I put a piece of cardstock. And then I poked hole th holes through it, I put ribbon in it, and I attached a pony bead at each end of the ribbon. And I also used different uh, textures of ribbon, like sheer and uh, satin and kind of like this bumpy ribbed kind of ribbon, and I used different colors. So that's all you have to do. You just have to make a little knot on each end, and if you want to attach a pony bead, you can. I just figured it was easier to pick up, almost like a Cheerio. And this was when he was first learning how to even pick up food. He did not know how to do it. and. Um, I was able to um, help him with that with this activity. And so all he has to do is he just has to pull it up. And he can do this forever. We do this all the time. It's seen better days. It's like even the ribbon is all messed up. But I mean, you can use the fray stop. But I mean, he, he just loves it the way it is. So that's all you have to do. You just have to pull it up and through. And it stops at the end. And um, that's pretty much it. When he's done, I let him play with this. He likes to roll it on the floor and like bang it up and down because it's metal and it makes this really cool noise. And then um, we do it all over again. So that's a pincer grass fine motor activity. Another one is this pom pom activity. First, I let him just kind of play with it and shake it, almost like a discovery bottle where he can just kind of move it around and shake it. And then I have this little wooden tray. And it's not supposed to be a wooden tray, but it's um, from Dollar Tree, and it's supposed to be a shadow box. And I use it as a tray. So I just, um, when we're ready to do the activity, I just dump out the pom-poms. And then um, I push everything to one side. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, this used to be a... It was from Easter. It had gummies in it that I gave to my husband, like little carrot gummies and stuff. And um, I just had my husband just drill a hole in the top because it's a hard top. You can't kind of, you can't cut through it. And, um, sorry, that's my son. <laughs> you just take your pom-poms and he has to just put it in through the hole. It's just one hole. And then, but he's getting it. He tries to put it in, but he just can't really... He's not getting like exactly where to do it. He just kind of does this. But I've been helping him where I just put it on the top, and he does. He'll push it down every time. So like I'll just take it, and he'll push it in. And these, I have three of each color uh, from my pom-pom uh, stash. And um, eventually, you know, we'll do sorting activities with color and numbers. But right now, he's just getting the actual action of um, the fine motor action of actually putting it in the hole. The next one is a Parmesan cheese um, great, er, shaker. And you could do anything with this. You could do toothpicks or you can do wooden dowels. But right now we just use um, straws. And 
all you have to do is just take off your label and clean it out. And then um, it has these three little holes. And I did three different colors only because eventually I'm going to put a blue sticker, a yellow sticker, and a red sticker. And he'll have to sort, you know, red with red and, you know, yellow with the yellow and blue with blue and all of that. But right now we're just trying to get the action of putting it right in through here. And then there, on the other side, you can take it out easily. So that's fun. And then this was a coffee creamer. It was from Simply. Uh, I don't remember who makes it. I believe it's Kraft. But we use jumbo popsicle sticks for this one. My son, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so all he has to do, this is also like a discovery bottle for him. He shakes it around and rolls on, around with it, and he, he chews the popsicle sticks, but... You okay? <laughs> Can you say hi? Say hello. Hi. So, um, this is my last activity. So all he has to do is put the popsicle stick in the hole. And there's only one way to do it because if you try and turn it the other way, it just doesn't fit. So he has to do it a certain way to get it in. And he's not really understanding it right now. I mean, he tries to do it, but it's just not happening. Once he's older, he'll get it a little more. But um, eventually I'll probably number these and we'll do a specific activity with it. So that's that. All of these things were free for me, um, so I hope that you got some kind of inspiration. I got all of my ideas off the internet and off YouTube videos, so if I haven't given you credit for it, um, just uh, let me know and I can do that. But um, a couple of them, you know, I'm pretty sure I came up with also. So that's that, and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some ideas. Thanks. Bye, YouTube.